Hello, and welcome to this session about filtering lists in Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. List forms can be found in every area of Dynamics 365. They all work in the same way, allowing you to sort and filter your data to display only the records you want to see. Let's start by looking at sorting. When a list form is opened, it is sorted by default. The column that is used has an arrow displayed in the column header. In this case, customers are sorted by account number in ascending order. To change the sort order, click the heading of the column you want to sort on. Let's say you want to sort your customers by name. Clicking the customer's heading allows you to select sort A to Z or sort Z to A to sort the list in ascending or descending order. Now let's move on to filtering. There are four filters you can use on a list. We'll start with the filter box at the top of the form. When you start typing in the filter box, a drop-down list automatically appears allowing you to select which field you want to filter on. Let's say you want to find all customers with the word wholesale in their name. Just type star wholesale star into the filter box and select name. The asterisks here are wildcards. To clear the filter, click the X to the right of the filter box. The filter box is restricted to filtering on just one column. The next filtering method allows you to filter on multiple columns. Click the header of the column you want to filter on and the filter panel is displayed. We've already used the sorting functionality of this pane but now let's look at the filter. Firstly, you can choose the filtering option. Is exactly, contains, begins with, is one of, and so on. We'll filter for names that contain wholesale again. So you would select contains from the drop-down list and then type wholesale and click apply. Notice that there is now a filter icon displayed at the top of the column. Now you can apply filters to other columns. Let's say you only want to see wholesale customers in group 10. Next we'll look at the filter pane. The filter icon on the left hand side of the screen opens the filter pane. You can see that the filters we applied just now are already displayed here. You can add any field from the customer record to the filter regardless of whether it's displayed as a column in the list form. Let's say you want to filter on customers with 45 day payment terms. Click add a filter field and select the field you want to filter on. Select the filter method is exactly and the type the filter value net 45, click apply to apply the filter. You can click reset to reset the entire filter, but we won't do that today. Finally, there is the advanced filter. This can be found on the options tab of the action pane. Whilst the advanced filter is extremely powerful, most filtering requirements can be met using the previous three options and so we will not go into detail on the advanced filter on this video. However, there is one function of the advanced filter which is worth looking at. You'll notice that the advanced filter already contains all the filtering options that we set up using the filter pane, so we don't need to make any alterations to the filter. But, if you click Modify at the top of the pane and select Save As, you can save the filter, give it a meaningful name, and click OK. Now the next time I access this form and go to the advanced filter, I can select my saved query from this drop-down list. There's just one final thing you can do with a filtered list. You can add it to a workspace as a tile, a list, or a link. From the Options tab of the Action pane, select Add to Workspace. Select the workspace you want to add the list to and select Tile, List 
or link. Give it a meaningful name and click OK. Here's the workspace we just added the tile to. I've also added the same filtered list as a list to show what it would look like. Thank you for watching this short introduction to filtering lists. For more information about the training services Optimum can provide, please visit our website.